For the last couple of years, I've been asking myself the same question. Is dropshipping finally dead? What's up guys, it's Sebastian. All the people t that are telling me to go to college right now, I'm gonna shut them all up. So just, you know, we're gonna do this together, guys. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So I decided to challenge myself and go back to my roots and start a dropshipping business from scratch with no idea what I'm gonna sell with no idea how I'm gonna sell it. All right, 24 year old finance YouTuber and self-made multimillionaire. And that's exactly what I did. I decided to team up with my friends, Sebastian and Tim, <laughs> and we documented the entire process, doing product research, building the store, and launching the ads. You guys gotta see this. This is, this is crazy. There wasn't any win or loss that we held back. You get it all. Guys, I'm so excited because this has been the craziest video, the most exciting video, and the most exciting experience that I have ever posted on YouTube ever. You're going to be able to be brought into our conversation. You're gonna be in our group and you're gonna be able to see and hear exactly how we think about things. We did not hold anything back. We have creating the very first store on camera, how we came up with the name, every single thing nothing is held back nothing is blurred out that being said sit back relax and enjoy the show so what's the best product you've found so far something for women's feet for the heels have you ever seen that one mm -hmm. The neck one, the cooler, and this one I just saved. Mm -hmm. Do you have problems wearing high heels? What this does is it takes a lot of that pressure off the balls of your feet. Yeah, that one actually looked good. That wasn't bad. These guys have a good angle. You just discovered this inkless printer just after graduation. I don't know what you would print on it though. After searching for potential products for about two hours, we stumbled across one that we think could be a winner. Oh, this can print. Personal like Our information. Address. Ten thousand likes in seven days, and then in thirty, it's the same. So they just launched. That's good. Definitely saved that one. I did, and it has a lot of shares too. Come on, just to show you guys. But like, look how cute. And the best part about it, it's like super soft. We found how many products? I think like eight or nine. Yeah, I mean, yeah, probably like yeah. Maybe probably. ten. We'll just yeah. say like close to ten. But, and so oh. tomorrow, with the fresh brain, because it's past midnight, we're gonna. <laughs> Decide on a product. Tim will be here. We'll all go through it and then we will find out what we're going to be selling. One of our friends, Tim, flew in this morning to help us with this challenge. Now, he's done over $10 million in revenue just with dropshipping. See it. Because I found a brand. They have so many like UGC videos on it. I think we found our product. I think we found a product. You know what time it is? Look. It's time to make money. So the product we picked was this two-piece set. And we agreed to sell this product because it was new and trendy and people were having a lot of positive reactions to the videos we saw. Sebastian, I'll try to put a, together a list of competitors of okay. the same brand and we'll look through like some of the best features of those and then I'll just compile those and give them to you. Okay. While you build the structure so that you can have like some inspiration. Sounds good. Get started, do you want to use our SaaS? Yeah. So the SaaS that I just mentioned is a software that Sebastian and I have been working on for the last couple of months. Basically what it's going to do is build out a dropshipping store for you in just a couple of seconds with nothing but a supplier link. It's not ready yet, but it should be ready in a few weeks after this video is live. So if you want to try it out, then make sure to come back to this video and check the links in the description or just follow me on IG because I'll probably mention it there. Basically we just select women's clothing, generate a store name, Fashionista finds. That's actually not a bad name. And then select whatever theme we have and then click create and it just build your store. All we had to do to build the Shopify store it used to take me like two hours to do. I just did it two weeks ago and it took like two hours just to test the product. Now it took me, I think, four button clicks. Um, going through and finding as many competitors of this product as I can. Canva Pro has like unlimited fonts. Make the logo and then we're finishing up the store. Like nice. But this is homepage, I, it's almost done. 
I would do a twelve dollar offer with shipping on the back end. Okay. I know he Tim, he's only been doing it for like ten months. Bro, I sent him crazy. Free, That's good. I sent him our free course, and then he sent me a screenshot. It was like three k, and then like five days later, it was like ten k, and I was like, okay, yeah, ten k in a day. I was like, bro, it took me like two years to do that. <laughs> This is Matthew, who went through our last free course and sent me a screenshot of a 10k day within the first couple of months. We brought him out here for an event and just to spend time with him. There are dozens of kids that have made over six figures with things they have learned from our previous free course, and they did it all with TikTok ads. From seven I started in 2017. Bro, I had to manually put in my boss card with debit card to fill every order. Yeah. <laughs> I had to call my bank three times a day. What do you mean? <laughs> Now you can do it with a button. You click a button. Now we had to put this entire challenge on hold just for a few hours because we had set up a completely free event here in Arizona for the DTD members. We just wanted to meet them, talk to them, and give them a chance to make some cool friends all for free. We will definitely be doing more stuff like this in the future, so make sure you join our newest free course, Conquer TikTok Dropshipping, after this video. You ready? No, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Born ready. <laughs> Meeting some people, having a good time. Yeah, you're like five. chilling. Get the yawn, baby. Yep. They know it's 10 p.m. <laughs> and we're cooking. We literally could be with our friends right now. All of our friends right now. But we're working. Right now I'm doing all of the policy pages, so like the privacy policy, the terms of conditions and all that stuff. All the very boring stuff. <laughs> I'm looking for creatives of the product. It's, it's ready to go. Um, I just haven't taken off the trial. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks sick. Yeah, not bad. The different colors Dude. go hard. Oh, it's on. We're gonna make some video ads because we need ads for, or we need videos for our TikTok ads to actually show ads. So we're gonna edit them up a little bit and do that. So, yeah. What we always do is we try to mention like why people should buy from us. And so for this one, we're gonna be doing a 65% discount. So we're going to just mention that in the video. So that's what we're doing because we wanna hook people and make them be like, oh, I see that on TikTok. I wanna go buy it. And if they see a good offer, like 65% off, it's a little bit different than 50%, so they'll probably bite and uh, wanna buy our product, but we'll see tomorrow. Here's the video ad we made. I don't know what it is, but they are so comfortable. They fit perfectly. They're so soft. They're so cute. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. I think I need to buy three more. Boom. I think it's pretty good. So tomorrow we're starting out with an add a car budget that's going live at 2 a.m. We're gonna let that run for five hours um, and that budget's gonna be $31. And so for the CBL, what we're doing, we're launching a $50 day CBL. Just five ad groups in there, nothing crazy with all the creatives in there. We're launching with five creatives um, and that will be going live at 7 a.m. So total ads in tomorrow is gonna be $80. Uh, we're going to see how long that takes to inform up. Normally it's 24 hours, but we've seen good results with letting the add a cart only run about five to six hours as well. So we're just going to see how the add a cart performs and what TikTok is liking. So now yeah, pretty much all set. While we're on the topic of TikTok ads, I have partnered with TikTok and I have a crazy deal where if you guys use my link to start your TikTok account, you can get up to $1,500 in free ad credits that you can spend on ads for your dropshipping store. Literally free money and you can rinse and repeat it. The next day we didn't plan on filming an update until the evening, but Dylan was at the house with Sebastian and they captured something special. You got an order? Yes. We were about to shoot thumbnails and I just checked and we got our first order on the store. So someone bought two sets. Okay, so basically I already came up with this idea to do buy one, get two free. I was going to implement it and we were going to relaunch this product 
tonight for tomorrow, but I think we should definitely run with it because our first order was 60 bucks. I don't know how much we spent on ads too, so yeah, I guess this product is good. Dude, this store is going actually really, really well. That's what I want to talk to you guys about. We're going to be isolating each of the creatives and start pushing around $50 ad spend per creative for tomorrow okay. um, to see which one's actually pulling the best. Because right now, it's just, it's not enough ad spend to really uh, tell which one is actually doing the best um, currently right now. Four purchases for a CPA of $1.30. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, we honed in on the right offer. Yeah, so the thing with this, since it's so cheap, people are gonna be buying more than one item and that's what we've been seeing. So right, right now, the AOV is anywhere between 45 to 50 bucks. Yeah. I think we should get UGC right away. I think that the results so far have been very, very good, very pleasant. So yeah. I think it'd be worth it. And also just like setting a good example, because obviously it's not the best way like ripping yeah. content is not the, the best way to drop shit. It's like not the most ethical way to do it. So yeah. I just want to make sure that we're teaching people to do this the correct way, you know? Let's do it. Awesome, yeah. I'm gonna play a song now because we're gonna get to work and I want to vibe. What you up to? Editing creatives. It's pleasant heat. Mine sounds good. Beat switches. <laughs> Money called, guys. We're gonna be rich. 1.30 today, 350 sales so far. Woo! We have a lot of things to do. It seems like there's interest in the product. We gotta design, redesign the store a little bit and make it a little bit more professional. We need to create new and better creatives with trending sounds, like trending TikTok sounds right now. We have to fulfill all the orders and find somebody that can reliably do that every single day. We have to get customer service set up. And I'm gonna get Google Ads up and running for the business, branded search, search campaigns, and some shopping campaigns, and then some basic remarketing campaigns as well for like that type of, like that name of products. We're gonna start up with Google Ads because once we start to scale on TikTok, it'd be ideal to retarget on Google and Facebook. We have a whole day to see how it goes, but we're already at more sales today than we have done yesterday. It's the highest day and it's 9 a.m. That's pretty much where we're at. It's Monday, June 5th. We're not millionaires yet. But we're on our way. So they, the apartment did this? Yeah, no, the apartment knew that we had a sword. And when we moved in, they made a hole for us. We, we didn't stab the floor. Yeah. That didn't happen. Gotcha. So. Literally, as you walked in, we have two more orders that just popped in. We're just going to go to the Airbnb because we're doing some baby scaling some little surfing scaling today just to see what we can get up to give it test the water so we should go do that we'll pop up the dashboard and show you guys where we're at um, but it's 8 a.m and i'm pretty excited so let's go which car should we take um feeling fast fast okay we gotta go this way All right, so day one we did 50, we did 60 bucks. I think we lost money that day. Two, 157. Three was 440, which was yesterday. 440 bucks, and then today we're already at 681. It's 8:23 a.m. Yeah. There you go. It's 8:23, and we're at almost just under 700, right? Yeah. And the margins are really healthy as well. <clears throat> it's like 45 percent. See that? We just have to blur out this. Well, actually, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, see. That profit right there. 295. That's crazy. Like if we j if we don't grow, 300 bucks a day profit is nine grand a month. Nine grand a month. Yeah. If we don't, grow. <coughs> that's, our, that's already 100k a year. Yeah. If we just stay right there, uh -huh. this is like three days of work. Yeah. Not even. I thought dropshipping doesn't work. Huh? Ride. So what we're gonna do 
you today. So we're gonna have Google Shopping retargeting and search campaign campaigns up and like display retargeting campaigns. Seb is gonna try to get Facebook retargeting up and running today so that we can just get omnichannel. Once we have 50 conversions, we'll get Snapchat ads going up. I think this product will work well on Snapchat as well. We'll do that, start with retargeting. The UGC is in the works. Influencers will be reached out to and communicated with today. We'll send products to them. What else are we doing today? Well, we're gonna scale these ads. If they're doing really good, I'm gonna adjust the budgets. Wow, dude, like all of our ads are doing really good. I like the outfit today. Thank you. It's the new shirt I got from Buck Mason. That's sick. What's up? What's he doing? Playing chess. Oh, hey. <laughs> Checkmate it. Before it's doing not as good as yesterday. What's our conversion rate today? Oh, it's dropped a lot. 3%. We didn't really change anything either. So yesterday was 5,400 in revenue. Yesterday was 1787 profit. We were only striving for like a 2K or 3K day. Yeah. But it, ads just kept doing really well, so. And then we launched a ton of new campaigns. Basically, we're just trying to see like what will work. We launch a ton of campaigns and figure out what works and then whatever does hit, we'll keep those on. Whichever ones are not good, we'll turn those off. I think that's kind of why there's some discrepancy because some of these campaigns are doing really good for today. Yeah. I did see this. I saw this a couple times. Everyone kept asking me where my shirt was from. It was actually my set. I have, I bought five. It is linked in my bio. You can get 10% off. I can't even explain to you how comfortable they are. I'm obsessed. Like, I think I wear them three times a week. Nine, five, two at five, two at five, one at 12, one at 13. So, so basically, <clears throat> yesterday our CPA rose throughout the day. Like in the beginning, it was lower. because, And then we messed, like the ads shut down. We didn't mention that. Our card got declined on the ad account. It threw the ads out of off the rails, stopped the ads for about an hour. It took like a few hours to get back up. So yesterday, it would have been probably like $6,000 actually. Yeah. So what we did is we loaded cash onto the TikTok account. So now there's like five grand that we've charged onto the TikTok account and it's just a cash balance. So that won't happen again. Today, what they're doing is creating 10 new CBOs that are all identical, letting them run at $50 a day to see which one of them gets the best CPA. And then if one is doing really well, we'll start to surf it and increase the budget throughout the day. Yeah. But really we've only seen great results with one ad. So we're gonna launch a campaign with an ad set and we're only gonna, we should do like open targeting, give like a, a decent budget and just use the one ad because a lot of the a lot of the ads were just blowing spend but yeah this is the only this is the ad with the best results so we're just doing yeah. one and then did you leave the targeting open yeah yeah yeah, yeah. see how i'm toasting my bagels all right it works it's actually faster than a toaster i think people glamorize like or get like obsessed about the running ads portion of drop shipping yeah and they think like oh that's the most important thing yeah it's really not i think actually that's probably the easiest part because it's just like clicking buttons. The hardest part is like, is first of all, finding a, a great product that people like and then creating a great offer around it that people will like. That's like really the hardest part. And then the next thing is having a great creative. We're in contact with Zendrop right now. They're yeah. sourcing us the products. They're gonna get us quick shipping time and custom packaging. And I have a girl doing our branding as well. So just like not, not entirely necessary, but we wanna teach you how to do it the right way. We're gonna pick up Seb, and then we're gonna go to my house, my property, uh, to check the progress, because I haven't been there in a while. Yeah, that's sweet. So this is a property that I've been building for the last couple of years now, and seeing the progress of this vision come to life is a very special feeling. And maybe like grass. Do an update. We're at almost 1.6k in sales. Today didn't go as hot. We did like 5.4k yesterday, so yeah, we're probably like 20% margins. More? I would say probably about 16 to 18 percent. Okay, probably like 250 profit then. Yeah, but it could be better. Also, we're getting updated costs on goods. We're trying to get it down to seven dollars shipped. I don't know if I mentioned that. Negotiating with suppliers. Yeah, the, the CPAs just started to rise throughout the end of yesterday. Campaigns today just did not perform as well, so they shut off early in the day.
Now it's time to take another break from the challenge because it's my friend Dylan's birthday and we decided to join him on his trip to Vegas so that we can spend all the profit we just made this week. I'm just kidding. Vegas for some reason, but the store is doing well. Store. Oh, yeah, blowing all the profits. But no, we have to fulfill all of these orders. It's taken a few days to get uh, basically a supplier to give us a good price. Pricing went up though, it went up from like 950 to 1040. So margins are a little bit thinner, but we're gonna fulfill orders right now. We turned off ads while we fulfill the orders, find a good supplier and make sure it's actually good quality. So now it's, uh, what is it, day nine, I think, that we've been running the store. We've hit 10K or over 10K in sales, which is pretty dope. Um, I mean, it's dope, yeah. I'm sorry, so I didn't mean to cut you off. No, go ahead. If, like, if we would have run ads at the same pace and we had like a source supplier and everything was yeah. good from Close the start, you. We probably would have already been over 20. Yeah, for sure. You know I'm saying like we would have maintained five even more. We would have scaled, but hopefully we're gonna scale this weekend. Yeah, it's already Friday. We wanted to be really scaled by today, so it's a setback, but we're gonna work on it right now, and then we'll set up ads for tomorrow. up guys so just an update i just woke up we are still in las vegas and today is saturday june 10th today well today was supposed to be a much better day than it is so far uh the store is at 430 bucks in revenue we've spent about 150 so it's profitable today if today was supposed to be like a 20k a day we're, we're going to try to scale this weekend like the first weekend after launching the problem is is that a couple days ago, the supplier switched up on us and they and they said that it was actually going to be a little bit more expensive. So we had to put the store on pause until we figured that out. And now we did figure that out, but we just restarted ads right now. So we fulfilling all those old orders and now we are good to go. We got processing switched over, so we are not on Shopify payments anymore. But that's what happens with dropshipping. So it's good that that happened because you guys get to see that. But however, you know, it's not exciting just an update for you guys so i will see you in the next one all right so basically it is now sunday the 11th of june we are leaving vegas today uh yesterday we did really well with our store i don't know exactly what we profited but 1.3k yesterday could have been better could have been worse and then today it's only 10 a.m we're already at 300 bucks so not bad now Vegas was pretty fun. All me and Sebastian did was shop and eat dinner. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to scale the store as well as we wanted to over the weekend, but it was because we didn't solidify the supplier situation before we ran up the ads. So I think at this point we were trying to move as fast as possible because we were excited that the product was performing so well and it was all on our first try. And because we wanted to show you guys that dropshipping still works and you can still make money very quickly, but it ended up kind of working against us. That being said, make sure when you find a winner that you get all of the foundations ready to go so that you can scale consistently and do great numbers without running into issues. Today is June 13th. So as you guys can see from this nice, lovely graph, we ramped up scale, but then we like dropped off pretty much because of, like I explained earlier, um, supplier issues. We had to dial in order fulfillment and costs. And now we just ran all the numbers. We're in the profit like 1100 bucks right now. And that's just because ads have been like 
coasting the past few days, but we haven't been optimizing them. And now that we have confirmation on pricing, we're basically going to double down on what's working and hopefully scale up the store pretty heavily. That's why we haven't really done crazy numbers, but now, I mean, the goal is to ramp up to like 10K per day, but yeah, so far we've done 13 grand with the store, which is not good. Since there's three people working on the store, we need a way to stay organized because there's a lot of different things that need to be done, a lot of different tasks. So right now I'm creating that right now in Airtable, which is just everything that happens within the business and all the responsibilities, the major ones, and then I'm like breaking them up into smaller ones and we're gonna assign each of these to people. Alright, so today's June 14th. The store, we're basically still paused as of right now. What we've done is we've added a second product, which is a bodysuit, something similar. We're gonna cross sell the products and then we're also gonna run ads to the bodysuit as well. Try to send more traffic to the store. Now we can start changing up the offers, trying different offers and angles. And also we have more content on the way that we would use to create more creatives. Just kind of in the waiting phase. Tomorrow we're gonna test the new product on the store. We're gonna test new offers on the store. So tomorrow will be interesting, interesting day. But in the meantime, what we've done is prepped the internal. So I'm build this yesterday. So it's just our air table with all of the responsibilities we all have and all the to-dos that we can all add for each other and assign to each other. What I'm actually currently working on right now is, is using this app here to connect PayPal so that the tracking numbers automatically get sent there so that PayPal doesn't hold any of our money. We have everything else ready to go and hopefully this weekend we can go crazy. That'd be really, really cool. Now with the foundations finally in place, we were able to walk into next weekend confident and ready to scale. a.m. Yesterday what happened was we tried three different offers and we tried a different product as well. Three different offers on that same two-piece product. Uh, just changing the price, changing the creatives as well. But today, June 16th, it's 9.30. We're at 1.6. So that's really good. If I show you yesterday, we did like maybe a thousand bucks yesterday. So we're already killing it today. Um, our conversion rate is up. We spent 300 bucks and we're at 1.6. So it's really good, really, really good. So we'll go to today. So we have quite a bit running as you guys can see. We've already started to scale some of the stuff that's working. Our campaign with the most conversions, these are our ad groups. Um, you know, this one has two purchases at $2.74 a purchase. This one has two at 5.15. This one has one is at seven. Now, let's see what we got. Four people checking out. Four active cards, two people checking out. And our supplier switched up on us here. We didn't have like a clear agreement about how we, how we were gonna get the product. So we had to tone things down quite a bit and, and that's what happened. And then we spent a few days trying to get the supplier, which we finally did. Massive shout out to Zendrop for being so nice and being so catering and, and doing this for us, for helping us out. But I'd be curious to see what we can get to today. I don't want to say a number, but definitely higher than 5.4K. So we'll film another update tonight. But look at this, guys, I promise you, this is what I woke up to. Okay, <laughs> you guys gotta see this. This is, this is crazy. It's 6 p.m., we're at $10,200. So as you can see, the last hour just went crazy. $2,500 in the last hour. Not sure how many, 35 people checking out, 13 already purchased, and it's just like constantly going. At one point when I was at the office, there was like 160 people on the website, like 55, 60 people checking out. It was just insane. These are the orders. Like, look at this, 602, 602, 602, 66. Absolutely incredible. Now what's happening is, so this is called surfing. This is what the strategy that Tim teaches in the course, like you just increase the budgets throughout the day uh, and it's called surfing because it looks like a wave. But what happens is as you surf, the margins start to get a little bit thinner because you're scaling. So we've spent $3,300 to generate uh, 10,200 and it's about $2,000 profit, but it's actually a little bit higher than that, sitting at a 19% margin. So these next few hours typically do really well, like six to eight, 
six to nine really are really, really good hours, really profitable hours. So the budgets on the campaigns are really high right now because the CPAs were good and they just kept on increasing them because it was within the range. So I'm not really sure what can happen. I didn't expect it to go this well. I thought maybe we could do 10K today, but we're at 10K and the peak hours just started. My guess is 14.8. That's what I guess we'll get to. All right, guys, go away. Dylan, sorry for making you run over here, but <laughs> I'll see you guys in like three hours. All right, so it is June 17th, it's midnight. I'm filming this on my phone because it's too late for Dylan to film. But yesterday we finished off $13,845 in revenue, $5,000 in ad spend, and about $5,900 in COGS for a grand total of $2,256 profit. So by the lights, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. So it should be interesting. We're gonna test something a little bit different. We're gonna charge shipping a little bit extra um, for shipping to try to increase the AOV a little bit. So hopefully tomorrow's even better. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. All right, so from the last time we talked on the store. Let me pull up the actual store. It's been a little bit spotty. We did we did the high day of 13.8. The next day was 7.9, nearly 8,000. Today was three. So we've started to come down. The issue that we're running into is the CPAs are getting high. So as you guys know, hopefully by you know watching throughout this video, you guys start to understand how running these stores works. If the CPAs stay low, we're gonna have a huge day. Um, if the CPAs get high, then we're not gonna have a huge day. It could happen for a few reasons, but main reason probably that's happening is because of the ads, like the creative fatigue or the ads are just not doing as well anymore. So how do you combat that? You get better ads and more ads. When marketing, you want to try to cater to the people that are gonna buy the products. And these people, when they buy something, they want to see it as themselves, right? So that's why it's important to include shapes and sizes and colors and everything, <laughs> which sounds kind of funny to say, but it's important to do that. So that would make the ad work better. Tim built the store. We rebuilt the store and redesigned it. And now what we want to do is we want to try to unidentify as dropshippers. So we've redesigned the store and we've added about 200 products. But as you can see, this is the new store. You can, you can show them. This is what it looks like. Um, we're going for like a boutique kind of look. This is mobile view um, because it's optimized for mobile. So as you can tell, this is definitely more of like a professional uh, kind of vibe. And if a dropshipper were to see this, they wouldn't necessarily be sure that this was dropshipping. So we are trying to hide from dropshippers, which is funny. But this is the new product page for the winning product. Um, as you can see here, it just looks a lot more professional. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So for now, we're kind of just taking it back. Right now, only very, very profitable ads are running. We're just taking a break until these new creatives come in. All right, guys. See you in the next one. So as you guys can tell so far, dropshipping in the beginning requires you to be patient and always try new things to see what works and what could be working better. It's not always going to be easy and exciting, but it's definitely still possible and you are going to see just how possible in the next few minutes. What's up guys? So unfortunately, we kept on running into ad account issues with the last store. We just kept on getting our account banned, which was a little bit annoying. It seemed like TikTok had changed something because everyone that I talked to said pretty much the same thing and that all of a sudden they've been like super strict and like very sensitive with account bans. So we kept on running into account bans and we tried a lot of things, pretty much everything you could do. We changed the domain, we created a new store, you know, new cards, new accounts, everything new. And uh, we were still just running into issues. We uh, tried looking for other products and basically starting again. That's exactly what happened. That product is actually doing better than the last product, the two-piece set. It's still in the women's fashion niche. I think as of today, today we're at 4.4K in sales. It's been pretty consistent between 4 and 6K every day for like the last few weeks. So it's doing well and we're planning on continuing to scale it. The goal is to get around 250 to 350,000 with this product. You know, that plus the last store, if we are able to achieve that, then we'll basically call it a wrap there. You know, hopefully we'll make some a good chunk of profit. And if we do, like it's pretty safe to say that, you know, <laughs> anyone can 
go in and do this and figure it out. We've all started from pretty much the same spot as most people watching this video or even worse. So going pretty exciting, but as of September 5th, between 120 and 130K in revenue, uh, profit, I'm not sure, but somewhere in the five figures, multi five figures range. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool to see that, you know, even a couple of old heads can go back <laughs> in the trenches <laughs> and drop ship again. It seems like we're going to wrap it up pretty nicely. So anyway, that's the update. The next update will probably be the last unless something crazy happens that we have to report on. But yeah, the last update for you guys is coming up in 10 seconds. I will see you guys all there. I don't know how to start this. <laughs> so this is the final update. And I wanna say thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that it inspires you in some way. As of now, the collection of stores we started for this challenge have a total revenue of $276,000 and the total profit is just above $58,000. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This video actually did not go as we expected. When I brought this idea to Seb and Tim, my goal and my expectation was to generate over a million dollars. So we did just over a quarter of what the goal was. And the truth is, is like, we just kept on running into problems. Like we knew these problems might come up and we knew how to handle them. But if we didn't run into all these issues and we just continued to scale and things were more consistent, we probably would have been at like millions and millions of dollars in revenue, but just things didn't go as planned. And that's just the truth. And now I wanna extend my gratitude and give just the most massive shout out to Sebastian and Tim, because without them, I wouldn't have been able to do this challenge. I have such a busy life and I have so many things going on. For those of you that don't know, I'm into developing real estate. I have other businesses that I run and I just have a lot going on. And without them, I know that this challenge would have been much, much harder. Now you guys got to see the entire process for that first store. But for another store that we launched that did over 100K in the last few months, we created an entire case study around it where we reveal everything about it, show you the ads and everything. And we put that in our new absolutely free course, Conquer TikTok Dropshipping. So if you guys wanna see how we built and scaled that store, which was a completely different product, go join it and watch that content for free. If you guys respond well to this video and you guys love it, we will definitely be encouraged to make a part two. And one other thing I wanna be honest about is some of the content in this video was like very glamorized, like the private jet, driving the crazy cars and, and doing that stuff. And no doubt, like we do do things like that and it is fun, but this isn't a lifestyle that we live every single day. Aside from those highlights, life is pretty normal for us. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is I don't want you guys to feel bad about yourselves after you watch this video because you're not living the life that it looks like I'm living. My only intention is to inspire you guys and to motivate you guys to try dropshipping, to make it work, to make some money, and at least if nothing else, for it to be a door into the online business world so that you can find yourself making money on the internet one way or another in the future. That being said, I will see you guys all in the next one. Hello? Group service? You're suspected. This is you and the RA. <laughs> <laughs> to make money for a good time.